Toyota has just unleashed a game-changing innovation in the electric vehicle arena. After a tepid start with the BZ4X, Toyota has doubled down on revolutionizing its future EV lineup with an audacious move, introducing a groundbreaking 750-mile range battery that's set to send shockwaves through the entire industry. But what exactly is this new battery? Enter Toyota's cutting-edge solid-state battery technology. Solid-state batteries, although not new in concept, they've been around since the 1830s, have languished in development until now. Toyota, recognizing their immense potential, has made it a mission to push the boundaries of solid-state tech. What's remarkable is that Toyota's version retains its lithium base, yet delivers vastly superior performance. So what sets these batteries apart from traditional lithium-ion ones? The key lies in their electrolyte. Unlike conventional batteries, which use liquid or gel electrolytes prone to safety risks like overheating and combustion, solid-state batteries swap these out for solid alternatives, typically polymers or ceramics. This not only enhances safety but also boosts efficiency by allowing lithium ions to move more freely. In essence, while the core components remain familiar, Toyota's solid-state batteries represent a monumental leap forward in reliability, safety, and performance. It's a game-changer that's poised to redefine the future of electric vehicles. So with the key differences out of the line, it's now time to understand the first things first. And that, of course, is safety, which is a massive improvement over a regular lithium-ion battery. Since lithium-ion batteries tend to combust or even explode when physically damaged, getting into car accidents became even more hazardous than with regular internal combustion engine vehicles. Thankfully, solid-state batteries will eliminate the possibility of going up in flames, no matter what. This would make cars not just safer than regular EVUs but also fossil fuel engines too, making them effectively the safest vehicles on the road. Apart from safety, numerous benefits will make EVs much more daily drivable. First, solid electrolytes are considerably more compact, as well as noticeably lighter than regular lithium-ion batteries. This means that the batteries themselves will take up much less space than what they do now, allowing the car's interior to be roomier while also making the car lighter, improving both efficiency and driving dynamics. Speaking of efficiency, solid-state batteries have much greater energy density. This means that they can store noticeably more energy compared to same-sized and even larger lithium-ion batteries, which in turn expands the vehicle's range. Toyota has stated that an EV equipped with its solid-state battery will be able to do up to 750 miles on a single charge. This way, doing long distances with an EV will finally be possible, and the range constraints will finally be a thing of the past. Oh, and once you do need to recharge the battery, you'd be delighted to hear that it'll take the battery mere minutes to achieve high levels of charge. Solid electrolytes have much higher voltage tolerances, allowing them noticeably better recharge times. According to Toyota's official reports, their solid-state batteries will be capable of recharging 70% of their capacity in under 10 minutes, which is nearly as fast as refueling your car. But that's not all, as apart from being a noticeable upgrade for the owner, solid-state batteries also bring a lot of improvements to the table when it comes down to manufacturing too. First and most important is the fact that solid-state batteries have a much higher potential for rapid and streamlined production than lithium-ion batteries. You see, lithium-ion batteries need to be filled with liquid electrolytes before they're operational. This is a very time-consuming process and requires utmost precision. And since time is money on a mass production scale, this makes lithium-ion batteries very costly in the long run. Solid-state batteries eliminate this phase of production as they have a solid electrolyte, making the production process virtually just an assembly of the battery. Not to mention that this also makes the battery much simpler than traditional lithium-ion batteries. And as we all know, simplicity is both the key to production and real-world functionality. Another key benefit is the fact that solid-state batteries have a longer potential lifespan. Since the electrolytes are made from polymers and ceramics, they suffer from noticeably less chemical degradation compared to liquid or gel electrolytes, allowing the battery to be used more extensively before its capacity starts degrading. So it's pretty evident that solid-state batteries are superior to regular batteries in every possible way. Or are they? Because if they are and were proposed almost two centuries ago, well, unfortunately, all is not black and white. First, and by far the biggest drawback of using solid-state batteries, is their extremely short real-world life expectancy. 
Yes, they do have the potential to work much longer than regular batteries. However, that requires maintenance. This means that the electrolytes need to be checked regularly and replaced if they show signs of considerable degradation. If left unattended, solid-state batteries can form dendrites, which are lithium metal structures that grow inside the battery. Dendrites can cause short-circuiting in the battery, and while that won't lead to any major safety hazards, it will surely reduce the battery's capacity very rapidly, shortening its lifespan and lowering its overall performance. Furthermore, despite being potentially simpler and cheaper to make when mass-produced, the simple truth is that the technology was always far too advanced for any kind of mass production, which makes them both more expensive and more complex to make. Also, while solid-state batteries are cheaper and simpler to make, solid electrolytes most definitely aren't. The manufacturing process is still very limited due to solid electrolytes being largely unexplored, which means that making them requires the utmost precision. But don't worry. Toyota has gone to great lengths to mitigate or outright completely remove all the above-mentioned issues of solid-state batteries. Toyota announced that they expect solid-state batteries to not just be on par with regular lithium-ion batteries in terms of life expectancy, but to be even better in this regard, with their prototypes being able to cover over 500,000 miles without any significant loss of maximum capacity. That's why the development of their version of solid-state batteries is taking so long. Also, Despite being more expensive to make now, Toyota states that they aim at a larger production output of solid-state batteries, which would make them similarly priced if not cheaper to make than lithium-ion batteries. So with that in mind, it's time for us to answer the most important question of the video, when are we going to see a full-scale adoption of such batteries? Well, we aren't too far away from a full-on release. Believe it or not, Toyota's CEO Koji Sato has recently announced that the company will start making solid-state batteries as of 2027. Sato is confident that the current iteration of the battery is already good to go. However, he also wants to keep testing them for any potential flaws. Plus, this way, Toyota will be able to focus on simplifying the manufacturing process and making these batteries truly mass production ready. These first production batteries won't be as potent as the promised 750-mile battery. However, they are expected to be around 10 to 20% better than equivalent lithium-ion batteries, which is a massive improvement. The first batch of solid-state batteries will be good for about 500 miles, which is still extremely impressive. Instead, Toyota will start offering their models with either a lithium-ion battery or an optional solid-state battery. As said, it is expected that they will be completely phased out in the 2030s. However, because solid-state batteries still haven't been properly implemented into day-to-day -day life, only time will tell if Toyota manages to fulfill this promise. Many skeptics have pointed out that due to the complexity of making solid-state batteries, mass-producing them will not happen anytime soon, especially in a production ecosystem that has been tailor-made for lithium-ion batteries. And as much as we're on board with solid-state batteries, there is also another unavoidable issue that isn't exclusive to solid-state batteries, but also lithium-based batteries in general. This is, of course, the ecological component of producing these batteries. Lithium mining is extremely toxic to the soil and water that surrounds it, not to mention that the making of batteries also pollutes a whole lot. And recycling lithium-based batteries is still not efficient nor cheap enough to be properly sustainable. For these reasons, car manufacturers have started looking for non-polluting alternatives to all electric vehicles, and so far there have been a couple of solutions that impose themselves. Toyota has experimented with hydrogen combustion engines in the past few years, and they've been quite an interesting concept. But due to hydrogen's high reactiveness, these are still deep down in the concept stage. But Toyota is known for working its way around issues and finding the best solutions, which is why they recently started working on an all-new engine type, an ammonia-powered engine which aims to combine the ecological component of EVs and hydrogen engines with the convenience of fuel combustion engines. 